useful core functions and internals of SAP UI5 rendering. Let's take a look at some of the core functions available in SAP UI5. The get core function will return a core instance. In this example, I've created a variable called otext field, which is the type text field, and I have a button that in the press event will return an instance of that variable. I'm just going to call the get core function. And when we run this, we'll see that the alert pops up and shows us that we have an object here. There's also a by ID function that will get us a handle to a control based on its ID, even if it's been removed from the DOM. So in this example, we're going to call the get core function and attach by ID and reference the ID which is named field. When we click the button, it should return to us the hash field. There's an apply changes function that will carry out and render the changes for UI5 controls immediately before the runtime normally would. The DOM by ID function will return any HTML element with the ID specified in the argument. Let's take a look at an example. So here I specify jQuery dot SAP dot DOM by ID and I'm going to specify the ID of field. When I click the button, the alert should pop up and show me my object HTML input element. The jQuery SAP.byID function will return the jQuery object of the DOM element with the specified ID. This is similar to jQuery function, but easier to use. So we can see in this example that we just use the byID and it returns an object pointer to the control O text field. It's useful to have some understanding of UI5 rendering internals. The UI5 control trees are only rendered when the HTML page is finished loading. UI5 largely uses HTML strings to render its controls. And changes to controls, like adding and removing properties, are not directly carried out. Uh, they will take place during onload and initialization, uh, when apply changes is called, and so forth.